Hey YouTube, so this is uh, Gene Hero Strife here. This is gonna be my own, I guess, uh, personal guide to, you know, anyone wants to pick up Marth, play him. I've seen a lot of Marths out there, and I think a lot of them try to do the, try to play like the, uh, the melee way of playing Marth. You gotta understand that, you know, in Smash Four, it's just a different way to play him. It's not gonna really be the same, and then plus, I mean. Sakurai said he was easy to use, but after, you know, nerf he got, you know, in the new update, his uh, shield breaker, which I thought was, well, you know, for me, was a pretty much a, a big part of my strategy. And, you know, after that, I really feel like it kind of plays a little differently. But, um, yeah, so basically... What I do is, well, I mean, what anyone should do when they're playing Marth is when you start out, you want to, you know, you want to know your spacing. You want to, you want to have your distance between you and your foe. What I do is I use the, uh, you know, the, just a neutral jab. You know, Marth does this little sword swing, swings it out there. It usually, uh, it, it keeps the enemies at a certain distance, but it's like a perfect distance for, you know, the tipper. You want to get the tipper on there. And also, basically, you know, I walk around. I don't really, you know, because Mar Mars a fast character, so you can, I usually use walking to kind of, I wouldn't really say trip, trick my opponent, but, you know, it kind of paces yourself, you know, to, until you want to, until you know where you, what you want to do, where you want to go, and then that's when you dash in, you know, for an attack, if you're trying to dash, but when I, when I say dash, I don't mean like use the actual dash attack, because we all know that sucks. Shieldbreaker, Shieldbreaker is still pretty good, but um, you know you don't really want to rely on it too much. But if you do use it, you definitely want to come come down or come in at an angle. Oh, and Mars grabs. Yeah, you want to definitely want to use their grabs. Uh, he's a good grab. I don't. Know, I wouldn't know exactly what kind of you know how his grab ranks up against the other characters. But, uh, you know, it's quick when you dash in. Instead of doing dash attack, you, you may want to run into a grab. It's best, probably best. Um, I heard, you know, Marv's, you can just stand on the edge with Marth and do his smash attack. His, you know, his forward smash because it's supposed to be a really good air, edge guarding tool. But, you know, most people you play, they, they try to come down and then snap to the ledge. So, I think the best thing with Marv, since he has also a very high, you know, uh, a B, which is you know dolphin slash. You know you can you can jump out there with your opponent and probably do probably you know catch him. I use when I do that I usually use a neutral neutral air. Yeah, but it's mainly when it comes to Marv, mainly about patience. You know, paying good attention to where your opponent is, and you know how that relates to you and your attack. So you can, because you want to aim for the tip, or obviously you want to aim for the tip of the sword because it deals the most damage and the most knockback. Now I said, I said that, um, you know, I, I kind of, I guess I made it sound like maybe I didn't use the, his, uh, shield breaker, but you can, you know, it's a good move for shield pressure in general, you know, whether with or without the nerf, you know, it's good to just, you just use it to, Kind of poke at your enemy, you know, give them the back off because you know everyone's scared of that move. You don't want to use shield pop, but um, it's also it's good, you know, illusion type stuff like <laughs> illusion. It's good, it's good for like tricking your opponent up, or you know, it's unpredictable. That's the word I'm looking for. It's very unpredictable, and. If you just short hop and then go straight into the charge, but you know, going forward, it usually always catches an opponent, like especially a really shieldy opponent. Really good for that. So anyway, that's that's pretty much uh, how I play Marth, or you know how I think Marth should be played. Yeah, I was just playing Smash today, and, and that's uh, usually you see a lot of Marths get wrecked, and or any even when you're playing uh, Four Glory, you use a Marth and. Usually when people get in the ring, and, uh, <laughs> the ring, <laughs> get in the, the match. Usually when people get in the match, starts it up, they they already feel like they've won. You know, they're taunting. You know, crouch spamming, teabagging, whatever you want to call that crap. 
Um, and I, I really feel like it because I don't, I don't, I don't think Marth is actually that easy of a character to play. And um, you know that that's why you don't really see people using them too much. You know, they're always using Link, Captain, or Mario, or something like that. Yeah. Anyway, you know, it's my thoughts on Marth. The uh, summary would be like when you're fighting people, like you know, be before this is like when the match first starts up, when you want to get like their damage up. I would say use the the neutral, you know, the neutral jab, the, the regular sword swing, and then from there you can you can keep popping them up, and it, it, you know, kind of like how Mario, how people uh, spam the. Uh, is up jab, you know, the, the up tilt. Usually how people spam that, you can spam the uh, neutral neutral uh, jab attack for Marth. It pops him up, you know, for a couple of times. And then that usually, if you're quick enough, you can lead that into the smash attack. And it's almost like 100% almost always the tip of the sword, which is what you're aiming for in the first place. And then once you get them, you know, damaged up, you can... Uh, then you can use your tilts, things like that, and that you know that's pretty much the way I I think Marv should be played. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Uh, leave some comments down below. You know, tell me how you think Marv should be played in your way. Uh, if you guys want to hear me do another character, maybe pick up another character and see my thoughts on their strategy, or tell me how this works for you. You know, if you happen to try this, tell me how this works out for you. And yeah, uh, have a good day. Keep smashing.